Samsung didn't reinvent its clamshell style foldable, but the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 looks ready to hold on onto its Velo foldable crown. Samsung's mid-year unpacked event delivered everything we expected with some new Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, a new duo of smart watches across the Galaxy Watch 5 and Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, and a pair of foldables in the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the Galaxy Z Flip 4. The new foldable keeps the signature clamshell design and comes with an improved display, dual cameras and a flagship chipset. The screen's diagonal is 6.7 inch which is the same as the predecessor but that's where the similarities end. The new OLED panel has a better hinge that bends in a pear shape to close completely when folded. It supports HDR10 Plus and comes with 144Hz refresh rate. Also, Motorola dropped the weird notch with the panel tucking underneath and introduced a punch hole design for the 32MP front facing camera. Now we don't want to call it a selfie shooter as selfies will likely be taken with the dual camera on the back in combination with the external 2.7 inch OLED screen that apparently remains unchanged. The main camera has a 50 megapixel sensor and OIS identical to what is used on the H30 Pro and S30 Pro. The secondary camera is a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle sh shooter with 121 degrees field of view. The previous two Motor Razor phones had Snapdragon 7 series chipsets, but finally the Motor Razor 2022 comes with a flagship Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Other aspects include support for raw shooting, My UI 4.0 interface that redesigned some apps to work on the outer screen as well. Dual speakers with Dolby Atmos support and proper DC dimming. If you have ever seen the existing Z Flip 3, the design of the new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 may not even register at first glance. It sports the same straight-sided look with a black visor along the top edge of the back that plays host to two rear camera sensors and the external cover display, while the rest of the back is comprised of Corning Gorilla Glass Victus set against a complementary color matched aluminum armor frame. Launch colors include graphite, pink gold, bora purple, and blue as well as the ability to mix and match both back colors and frame finishes in certain markets if you pick up a bespoke edition. Despite the, despite the same primary screen size as the Flip 3, Samsung has managed to make the Flip 4 smaller overall. When folding the phone closed, the logo engraved hinge doesn't protrude quite as much as did on the last model with a folded head that's 1.5 mm shorter thanks in part to slimmer bezels. This has also made more room for a bigger battery. Side on there's still a discernible gap to protect the point at which the screen creases in half and dust ingress is still a risk with no certified protection against grit. However, IPX8 water resistance does return from last year's flip and is still just as unbelievably impressive in an ever-growing market of rival foldables that still offer no such protection. Like this year's model, you will find a 6.7-inch Full HD Plus Dynamic AMOLED 2X panel when you open up the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 which sports a pleasantly smooth 120Hz refresh rate that can scale down to 1Hz in certain situations to preserve battery life. Visual quality is great for the resolution with the crease unseen when viewed head on the barely felt under finger making easily almost as good as on any conventional candy or smartphone. 
albeit with a decidedly unconventional 22 is to 9 aspect ratio. The shape does ask for two-handed user for, from the user a little more often but also lends itself particularly well to split screen multitasking and enjoying ultra widescreen gaming or video playback. That main screen also comes protected by a new version of Samsung's UTG Ultra Thin Glass 2.0 which the company claims is 20% stronger than before, although we can speak to its scratch or impact resistance at this early stage. Samsung made the external cover display larger on the Flip 3 compared to its predecessors and that runs through to the Galaxy Z Flip 4 with the same 1.9 inch Super AMOLED panel as before plus the same 260 into 512 resolution and 60 hertz refresh rate too. Motorola has confirmed the Razer 2022 will come armed with Qualcomm's top tier Snapdragon 8 Plus Zen 1 chipset, making the Razer 2022 Motorola's most technically capable foldable by a long shot. While the Snapdragon 8 Plus Zen 1 might not offer a major performance leap over the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, it is a huge jump for Motorola. So far, the Motorola Razer foldable phones have relied on mid-range chips such as Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G, which makes the Motorola Razer 2022 a massive update for the lineup. It comes in three variants of 8GB of RAM paired with 128GB storage and 8GB paired with 256GB and 12GB with a whooping 512GB storage. But there is more to the picture here when just the added raw performance. A flagship grade chip also unlocks new capabilities for the camera and ensures that it stays at the top of the priority list when it comes to rolling out software updates in the long run. Samsung has definitely expanded the cover display functionality too with theme matching when setting Galaxy themes on the main display and a host of new and improved widgets like a smart things, smart home control panel, Samsung wallet access, expanded quick replies plus more general quick settings. Flex mode makes a return to letting you position the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4's sturdy feeling hinge at multiple angles through its full range of motion in order to gain access to a number of split screen experiences. The company has built on existing offerings like YouTube and Google Duo with apps like Meta Messaging coming out of testing to receive dedicated flex mode support while features like multi window have been better optimized for flex mode with a simple gesture from the bottom of the screen to get going. Beyond these additions and updates which Capitalize on the Flip Force unique hardware configuration, you can expect a more familiar One UI software experience underpinned by Android 12. Samsung's Galaxy Store lives alongside the Google Pay Store. Samsung Wallet exists in conjunction of with Google Pay and although the same native Android 12 features persist, they play second fiddle to Samsung's specific implementation when it comes to UI layout and customization. In addition to a weak chip, another chink in the Motorola Razr's armor has been the camera output. Motorola has remained loyal to a single rear camera formula for all its foldable phones so far and even though the 48 megapixel on the Razer 5G, 5G delivered solid results, it was just not enough for the original asking price of nearly $1,400 both in terms of raw quality and lens versatility. Thankfully, Motorola is making positive strides in the department as well. The Razer 2022 has a 50-megapixel primary camera with OIS. It supports 4 into 1 pixel binding, so you can expect to get 12.5-megapixel images. The main camera is accompanied by a 13-megapixel ultra-wide camera with a 121-degree field of view and support for macro shooting. On the front, you get a 32 megapixel selfie sensor. 
The overall camera setup might not be as powerful as the main snapper, but if phones like iPhone 13, Galaxy S22, and Pixel 6 are anything to go by, those are enough pixels to deliver some impressive photos.